What are the best banks in Dubai and the UAE for wealthy investors, entrepreneurs, business owners to use that are efficient, that have good service, and that won't give you many problems or frozen transactions? Let's cover the best banks in Dubai right now. As you know, if you watch this channel, I live in Dubai and the UAE. I run my business here. I have my banking here personal and corporate. I use my bank accounts for crypto, for large transactions with clients, for transactions all over the world. And I've had these bank accounts for over a year now. So I'm going to tell you from personal experience, which banks are the best and also objectively in Dubai, which banks should you use depending on what activity you're actually going to do in Dubai and what your company is going to do. So first up, the bank that I personally use is Emirates NBD. You might have seen their logo. They're quite a popular bank here. And objectively, it is one of the best banks in Dubai. In my personal experience, it has been the best, specifically if you're dealing with large transactions with other countries. Let's say you're sending money from the US, from Canada, from Australia, from any country in Europe, from Asia, wherever you're sending money to your bank account, in UAE, in Dubai, if you're sending large transactions, let's say hundreds of thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars, this bank tends to be really friendly to large transactions. They don't freeze your transactions. They don't give you any problems. I have both personal and corporate banking, both priority banking, which you can definitely get. I highly recommend you do priority banking. They do require you to make a minimum deposit of around $55,000 to start so that you get priority banking after you don't need to keep that balance all the time. But I do recommend you to have a good relationship with your bank and your bank representative. When you're doing priority banking and let's say you have some sort of problem, your car gets stolen or something happens, you can actually call the VIP line so you don't get the customer service line. You get the VIP customer service way faster, way better, and you can get your solution way quicker. You can also use the cards that you get from Emirates NBD all over the world. I've used them in over 15 countries. Absolutely no problems. They work everywhere. Just make sure to not use a credit card at an ATM in another country because sometimes it won't process properly and sometimes the fees are insanely high. So that was the only thing that kind of caught me by surprise, but it was in Albania and it was using a UAE credit card, so I can't complain that much. When it comes to using the bank for crypto, actually getting crypto transactions, cashing out crypto to your Emirates MBD account, I haven't had any problems. For example, some of my clients living all over the world, they pay me in crypto to set up a business here in Dubai for them to set up a free zone company and get their ID and visa. I cash out that money and then I go and pay the government and the lawyers that are involved in this process. In that cashing out process, I've done it many times with hundreds of thousands of dollars. Absolutely no problems with Emirates MBD, both personal and the corporate level. Their corporate banking is a little clunky to send transactions all over the world. The transactions are immediate. They do go through really quickly and the fees are not so bad, but the website could be better. When it comes to personal banking, it is very efficient, really secure, and I love the app that you get with Emirates MBD. So overall, a great experience in my personal opinion and also from people that I know that use Emirates MBD. They get their bank accounts really quickly. My personal account took about seven days. And then once you get your personal account at any of the branches in Dubai, then the personal account, the person that opened it for you or the representative that opened it for you, they connect you to the corporate representative. Or we could connect you to the contacts that we have and just give you a contact to open up a corporate account, which takes a little bit longer depending on your activity, depending what you're going to use the bank account for, depending on your nationality. Sometimes it could take one month, sometimes two months, sometimes even longer to open up an account, depending on the little different details of your particular situation. But overall, a great experience and I highly recommend it. The next bank that I recommend, which is actually the largest bank in the UAE, is First Abu Dhabi Bank, FAB Bank. They've been here for a while many, many decades, and they also hold the largest amount of money out of all of these banks. So they're the largest wealth manager and largest asset manager in the whole of the UAE. Obviously in Abu Dhabi, there's way more money than there is in Dubai. There's a lot of these older money, a lot of really serious investors there that are holding billions in wealth. They put their wealth in FAB Bank. I don't have personal experience with FAB Bank, but I do know people that use FAB Bank for corporate accounts, and they say that it's a great experience, overall a great bank, the service they get, the private banking that they get overall has been a great experience for the people that I know that have this bank account. I tried opening up a FAB bank or a first Abu Dhabi bank account. They gave me some problems in the beginning because I didn't have an address in Dubai. 
So I went to Emirates MBD and they said, oh, it's okay, you can still apply without an address. I applied and then they asked for the address later on, but I was already approved. It was just before they gave me the bank account information. I got my address and then I got and I opened the bank account and I just stayed with Emirates MBD. I'm actually going to be testing a lot of these other banks with a new company, a new free zone company that I'm opening up here in the next couple of weeks. So I'll tell you a little bit more once I start testing more banks here and I have more firsthand experience with all these different banks. Definitely a great bank to test just because they're the largest wealth manager. They know about wealth. If you're transferring tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars through your bank accounts with other countries as well, they'll understand it because they're used to that level of wealth. The next bank on this list is Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, ADCB. You might see them, they have a little red logo and I've seen them a lot on restaurants, coffee shops, different retail stores here in Dubai. They tend to have this ADCB logo on their receipt. So obviously they're using that bank account and I know people directly, for example, lawyers and different companies here that use Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank as their corporate account. They'd say it's a great account. And I also know people that use it for crypto, not super crypto friendly as Emirates MBD. And I would say many banks in Dubai, they're not super crypto friendly. They don't love crypto. You need to be careful how you phrase it. So let's say that you go to Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank or you go to Emirates MBD and you go open a bank account. Don't say that you're going to use the bank account for crypto. Don't say, oh, this bank account is so I can cash out $10 million of my Bitcoin. Say, I'm going to use it for personal expenses. If it's a corporate account, I'm going to use it for my clients. I'm going to use it for corporate expenses. Once you have the bank account, then you can cash out crypto. That's what I tell my clients. Don't tell the representative you're going to use it for crypto. Tell them you're going to use it for personal expenses. Once you have the account, then you can cash out crypto and there's no problems with it. So I would also recommend that to do it with Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank. They've been here for a long, long time. All these banks are quite well established. They currently hold about $432 billion in assets in the UAE. So they're definitely a very strong bank that also understands wealth, that also understands big business. I would highly recommend you get them. Get an Emirates MBD account, get a FAB account. If you're a US citizen, you're gonna have to report all these accounts to the US and the IRS. But if you're a non-US citizen, then you can just get all these bank accounts, test them out and see which one works best, specifically at the corporate level. The next bank, which I have bad personal experience, but it is the oldest bank in the UAE, so we do need to put them in this video, is Mashrek. I couldn't get a bank account in Mashrek because as a US citizen or a person born in the US, they just wouldn't open an account for me. They just wouldn't let me. My friends who are from different nationalities, some Croatians, Serbians, some Portuguese people have been able to get Mashrek accounts. They're very happy with it. They've cashed out crypto to that account. No problems at all. I know some people that use corporate Mashrek. They're also very happy with it, but they're the oldest bank in the UAE. So they're a little bit more traditional, a little bit less efficient, less quick than Emirates MBD or FAB or ADCB, Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank. So definitely one bank that is worth mentioning. And if you're not able to get a bank account in those first three banks that we talked about, let's say you're not able to get a corporate bank account. They just don't like the, your company or what you do. They don't like you as a person. They don't like your nationality. Go to Mashrek, open up an account in Mashrek. And how it typically works in the UAE and Dubai is banks wanna see that you have another bank account in Dubai. So for example, when I first arrived in Dubai, I didn't have an ID, I didn't have a company, I didn't have anything, and I went to a bank to open a bank account. They said, do you have any other bank accounts in Dubai? I said, no, and they said, oh, we need another bank account in Dubai. So I went to the other bank and they said the same, and the other bank, and the only one that, that would actually open my account was Emirates MBD. That's why I put them as first, because they were the first ones. My first bank account in Dubai was Emirates MBD. Some banks, you'll need to get a bank account somewhere else. And a good one to do that would be Mashrek. So you get a bank account in Mashrek, you use that account for a month, two months, and then you show those bank statements to the next bank that you wanna use. So let's say it's FAB or Abu Dhabi Commercial Bank, and then they can get you a bank account as well. So that could be a strategy where you just use it temporarily in order to just get bank statements and then apply for another bank. The next bank, which I should mention, which you'll see if you ever visa Dubai or if you're ever in the UAE, you will see it at some point, is Emirates Islamic Bank. Due to the fact that it had Islamic in the name, that actually threw me off because I thought it was only for local people or people that follow Islam. So I never even went into the branch. But then I found out that you can make a bank account if you're a foreigner and an expat with an Emirates ID. So that is another bank that is quite good. I know some people that have bank accounts there. They say it's pretty good. There are better banks like Emirates MBD or Fab Bank, but overall a bank, like I said before with Mashrek, if nobody else opens you an account, then Emirates Islamic Bank could definitely be an option. And then I wanna mention the last bank 
in my personal experience, one of the worst banks that I've ever dealt with that I don't recommend anybody deal with. And I don't recommend you open it specifically if you're transacting large amounts of money from other countries and large amounts of money in crypto would be Ras Al Khaimah Bank, Rack Bank. You will see them a lot. They run a lot of ads. They advertise themselves a lot. They have a very popular website, social media pages and everything. I don't recommend you get a bank account there. We got a bank account there and we started transacting some money, $1,000, $2,000, $5,000 until I sent a payment over $5,000 from the US to the bank account here. It got frozen. We had to communicate with the representative for a couple of days and got released. We sent another transfer, $9,000. Again, it got frozen. We had to communicate and then it got released. And that was the last time that I ever sent a transfer over $5,000 to a Rack Bank account. The other problem that I had was to open the account at Rack Bank, you actually need to get a credit card. So you need to deposit some money, get a credit card. And then once you get the credit card, then you can get your bank account open. The thing is, it's impossible to get that deposit out without waiting in the branch for two to three hours. So I was literally at the branch, just on my phone, trying to do some work, talking to some clients for about three hours, waiting for this deposit of like $5,000, I think it was, 20,000 dirhams, something like that, to get released so that I could just get out of the bank with my $5,000. So I wasted a ton of time. I wasted a lot of effort. It's just a very bad bank. The website sucks a lot, it logs you out constantly. And I don't recommend this specifically for people that are very tech savvy. If you like crypto, if you like nice looking websites, do not go to RAK Bank. I wish you the best when it comes to banking in Dubai. Just avoid this particular bank. I highly recommend you to not use them. All right, that's been my experience and objectively the list of the best and largest banks in Dubai and the UAE. If you want help moving to Dubai, moving your business to Dubai, help with banking in Dubai, getting an ID, setting up a business here, click that first link in the description, book a one-on-one -on -one call with me. I can help you with all of this process, helping set it up for you, even remotely, even if you're in another country, we can get it all set up for you. And if you want to find out what are the best areas to live in Dubai, maybe you're just looking to stay here for a couple of days or weeks or looking to live here. What are the best places to live in Dubai? You can check the video here. Quite popular, best areas and places to live in this beautiful city and country. Subscribe, hit that notification bell, that like button down below. I'm the Wealthy Expat. I will see you on the next video.